Hi everybody, it's Cassandra and I'm back with another video of a dish that I'm making for Thanksgiving. So I make all this delicious food, but sometimes it gets a little heavy and my daughter said something that tickled me, y'all. I gotta tell y'all what she said. She, okay, as you know, in my broccoli and cheese casserole videos, I was explaining to y'all that's one of her most favorite things, but nothing, and I repeat, nothing is her most favorite other than cowboy caviar and this recipe that I'm about to show you guys and gals. This is her absolute most favorite. I don't just make this for um, the holidays. I make a ton of it for the holidays, but I make it all year long because it's just so delicious. It's so nutritious and it's so easy to make and it's really inexpensive. My daughter said, Mom, are you going to make the uh, macaroni salad? And I said, yes, baby, that's one of the top things on my list. She said, Mom, it just hits different when you have it for Thanksgiving dinner, when you got all those other casseroles and all those hot dishes. She said, you got that cool macar macaroni salad. She said, Mom, it just hits different. And I got so tickled at her. I said, okay, my little hipster, hitting different. <laughs> so, as you know, I'm making... Um, at least two items every day before work. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to make my sweet potato casserole, and I'm making a pumpkin pie from start to finish, so you'll get to see that. But um, this is my second one. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. It's going to keep, it will keep, it, believe it or not, this will keep a couple of weeks in the refrigerator. You can make this ahead of time in food prep, but let's go ahead and get started. You're going to need, to start out with, you're going to need 16 ounces of cooked macaroni elbow noodles al, al dente. Done got them cooked and drained. Make sure you salt and butter your water. Now, all you have to do is put everything together, store it in the refrigerator. And let me tell y'all something. There's something that I forgot to tell you before we get started. When you make this, if you know that you're going to make it on a certain day, I kid you not, if you make it two to three days ahead of time and let it just sit in the refrigerator, it's a million times better, you guys and gals. I promise you, than just making it the day before. So that's why I chose to make it today, so it'll have plenty of time to sit and all these wonderful uh herbs and vegetables are going to just savor and it's just going to get better and better and better with each passing day as it sits in the refrigerator and sequesters. Okay, so you're going to have your 16 ounce of uh, fully cooked elbow macaroni noodles. Make sure you salt and butter your water. Cook it al, al dente. You're going to need one cucumber diced. We're just going to add that to that. You're going to need one green pepper, one, uh, excuse me, green bell pepper, one yellow bell pepper, and one orange bell pepper, diced. Add all three of those peppers to the mix. Got a little heavy-handed there, didn't I? Let's move all this up so y'all can see what I'm doing. We're going to add one cup, not one, just one cup of a purple onion diced. And the reason I'm putting it in this is this has a lid on it, and I have to make a lot for my baby girl. If I don't, she will cry. She, When she comes in for Thanksgiving, or anytime I make this, she always gets sneaks and goes and gets more Tupperware bowls of mine and puts her a whole bunch in it and hides it under her jacket and takes it home with her and eats it later while she watches her her mystery documentaries. She's so funny. One cup of mayonnaise. Just add that in there. I promise you, even people that did not like macaroni salad after they tried mine, they loved it. Four tablespoons of sour cream. And the four tablespoons of sweet pickle relish. So good. This is so refreshing. One teaspoon of ground black pepper. One teaspoon of salt. And two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. 
two tablespoons of dill weed, and four table four tablespoons of red of raspberry vinaigrette. Make sure that it's raspberry, raspberry vinaigrette. I splurge a little bit, and I get the one that's a little pricey, but you know what? It's delicious, and I can't wait to start making my own vinaigrettes. I'm going to be making videos this summer um, showing you how I make my own vinaigrette so I don't have to go out and buy some. But if you do, that's fine. Just get a get a, a really well-made one um, that's, you know, read the ingredients, and, you know, sometimes you may have to splurge a little bit and pay an extra dollar or two, but you know what? It's worth it if it's delicious. If it's well made. All we're going to do now is just stir this until thoroughly combined. All you have to do now is let it sequester in the refrigerator for a couple of days. When you take it out, just give it a stir and people are going to go nuts. We uh, love to grill out and I make this all summer long. It's so good with burgers and fries. Um, I don't eat burgers, but I do eat uh, the chicken sandwiches that we grill. It's good for by-the-pool food. It's wonderful for th a Thanksgiving side dish. It's wonderful for a Christmas side dish. It makes a wonderful, quick, cool lunch. And when I make it, it's very hard to keep my family out of it. I have to fuss and threaten. <laughs> but I have to make it a couple of days ahead of time because... It really needs that time to sit in the refrigerator and sequester. All these wonderful, delicious flavors come together and you would be amazed. I'm telling y'all, people who have diehard said, Cassandra, I don't like macaroni salad. I will not eat macaroni salad. You cannot convince me. And I would make this and I'd say, I'm just asking one little teaspoonful. If you don't like it, I'll never bother you again about it. Every person that has ever told me that, they would take one teaspoonful, their eyes would get ginormous, and they'd be like, fix me a bowl. And they would be hooked. And they, they would like, literally, after they would leave, they would put on their Facebook page, they'd put a status and said, I've never liked macaroni salad. The only macaroni salad I will eat is Cassandra's. <laughs> And then I've, I've shared this recipe with many people. It's absolutely delicious. Now, you do not want to put more than one cup of mayonnaise in this. If you do, you're going to take away the delicious flavor. It will get soaked up by the pasta. Just give it a quick stir. And that's it. That's it, you guys and gals. I know that I sound horrible for this fussing about everybody else, but I'm just going to take one little taste. Oh, my God. Mmm! Mmm! Oh, my God. It is so delicious. It ain't even had time to sit, and it's amazing. So, I'm just going to stick this under the broccoli and cheese casserole. I'm going to have it so easy, so much easier for Thanksgiving. Because I'm doing this ahead of time, so I won't have so much on me. And <laughs> guess what I'm making, y'all? Mm. I can't wait to tell you guys and gals this. I am going to make a coconut velvet cake. The desserts that we're having is pumpkin pie, because my daughter absolutely loves my homemade pumpkin pie from scratch. We're going to have chest pie, because my son absolutely loves my chest pie. And to me, it's just not Christmas or Thanksgiving without that famous coconut cake. Now, I don't make it Southern style because I like mine just a little bit fluffier and lighter. So I'm going to make a coconut velvet cake. I can't wait for you guys and gals to see it. I love all y'all. Peace and love.